Initially, many students chosen to participate in TutorMate may struggle from a lack of confidence, and you may encounter children who are very shy and hesitant to read out loud. Remember that children chosen for TutorMate often find reading difficult and so need extra encouragement to persevere. If you are supporting a child who is at the very early stages of learning to read, it's important to try to build enjoyment and excitement into your reading sessions. Talking about the pictures in a book, enjoying listening to someone else read, and taking pleasure in the characters and storyline of a book are equally important during this early stage of learning. As you read with your student week after week, you might find the strategies helpful when looking for new ways to keep the child interested in reading. Spend some time reviewing the title page. Ask the student questions about what they see on the cover illustration. Can they make a prediction about what the story is about? Take a picture walk through the book. Go through each page of the book and talk about the illustrations. What does your reader notice in the pictures? What clues can they spot that might suggest what the story is about? Does your reader have a story they love to read? If so, use the revisit and repeat technique. Each time your reader revisits the same story, they become more and more familiar with the sounds that are repeated throughout the story. This repetition helps children remember and sound out words that may have been difficult the first time they read the story. If a child is struggling or seems reluctant, please stick with them and offer them encouragement and praise. It may be that you need to read with your student for less than 30 minutes in the beginning to build up their concentration. You might want to take turns reading if they struggle and get them to spot any mistakes that you make. Periodically, consider reading a story to your student that is at a higher reading level. Stories at higher levels, which may be too difficult for very young early readers, Provide content that your student may find interesting. Depending on what level your student is reading at, there are two different types of stories to choose from. Reading stories and decodable stories. Reading stories are included at each reading level and use words that students are learning in first grade. By reading these stories, students are increasing their word knowledge and practicing newly learned words. The library also includes stories that are written to help students learn to decode words. These decodable stories are included in levels C and D only. The repeated readings of the decodable stories help readers with fluency and word recognition, especially as it relates to phonics patterns and high frequency words students often see in first grade text. Let's take a look at a typical story. You might decide to look through the whole book with your student before reading it. You can mention some of the key words and give them a sense of the story before they read it, which can boost the confidence of early or reluctant readers. When you start to read each page, you can help the student prepare to read by asking them to look at the picture and describe what they think the story is about or what might happen next. You may also want to take turns reading with your student if they often struggle. You could alternate reading each page. This is a good way of taking the pressure off, as well as model fluent expressive reading. As you read, you may want your student to focus on a particular word. You can do this in two ways. First, you can click on a word on your screen which will highlight the word on the child's view of the page or you can show that word to your student by typing in the message box. For example, if your student is struggling with the word sing, you can type the word in the message student box and send that word to your student. Remind them to sound it out using their phonics, but don't hesitate to give them the word if they seem stuck. When you send the word to your student in this way, it will appear for them as if it was spoken by a small owl in the top left of the screen. Asking them what the owl is saying is a good way to check they can see the word you've sent. Asking questions about the story is a good way to see if your student is able to remember the key points of the story. But helping a child develop their comprehension skills is about much more than asking questions to test their memory. 
comprehension is about developing connections between what they've seen in the book and the world they understand. Can the student tell you about the story in their own words or make connections between the story and their own experiences? How would they feel if they were a character in the story? Having empathy with characters helps create thoughtful readers. Not all stories include comprehension questions, but feel free to spend time asking your student about the story when you're finished reading. Did they like it? If so, why?